and Michael Beauclair. Now we're going to talk about gridding single stroke rolls. We're going to begin with 16th notes in an 8th note bass, and I'll be doing it on count 1 in the first measure, then the 16th on count 2 in the second measure, count 3, 3rd, count 4 in the 4th measure. Nice and slow, 1 E and a 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 E and a 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 E and a 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 E and a 1. Now when we loop this pattern, when we play it over and over again, the 16th notes on count 4 will continue into the 16th notes that are on count 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, etc. A little bit faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. The next exercise we can do, we can have two counts of 16th notes. So the first pattern, I'm going to do it on beats 1 and 2, then on beats 2 and 3, 3 and 4, and then finally 1 and 4. I'll do each pattern twice. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 and 4 and 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 and That's what we can do, we're going to actually grid the eighth note. So the eighth note will stay on beat one and everything else will be sixteenths. So we'll do it twice on beat one, twice on beat two, three, and four. So I can go one, two, three, and a three, and a four, and a one. So the last one I want to show you is going back to the first pattern where we're just moving on beat 1, 2, 3, 4, but we can do this with a 6 tuplet. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. It's a little bit more fun to, to break it up. There's a lot of different variations you can do. You can do 30 second notes. It's totally up to you. We're just talking about moving your single strokes around the grid, moving them around your numbers so you get comfortable doing it and you don't get bored. That's a lot of fun. Okay? Thank you very much. I'm Michael Beauclair.